So you ready to work on the story? Yeah, come on, let's go in. Cool. Oh, can you believe what the mayor said about the proposed ban on superheroines and what he called the governor? Uh, yeah, I can believe it. It doesn't surprise me one bit. He's an uneducated politician. After who has no common sense at all. He's been at war with superheroes for decades. Mm -hmm. He blames the destruction and collateral damages to public buildings and properties on us due to our crime fighting. That's why he's calling for us for a ban on all superheroes, men and women. And he's using this for his potential presidential run. Okay, but can he really ban us for doing our job? Uh, he may. 
Um, it's been done before in Metroville, but that was way back in the 20th century. It was a different era and different time. In today's world, um, the citizens wouldn't stand for this kind of ban. So I've heard and seen. In Chicago, the mayor held a rally opposing the Metropolis mayor for the potential ban, and thousands of people showed up. It was really a sight to be seen. I covered the story this past week. Hmm. Same here. That was a rally over at the front gate of the mayor's mansion. Mm -hmm. Hours later, he held a news conference and refused to answer questions, <laughs> especially for me. Yeah, I know you've been his harshest critic since day one. Yep, and I will continue to be. He hates the planet because they have denied his request to fire me. <laughs> well, damn. Imagine if he knew who you really were. <laughs> that would probably change his tune. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. The only way we would know to change his tune is if something catastrophic occurred. Probably. Mm. Hello, Jack Kent speaking. Yeah, Chief, what's up? What? Are you sure? Okay, I'll see what kind of information I can gather. Thanks for calling and letting me know. Okay, bye. Jack, what's wrong? Well, Mayor Jefferson was found dead on the 76th Street subway tunnel in Uptown Metropolis. The subway tunnel? How did he get there? He was dumped there. The cause of death was strangulation. Who do you think did it? Nuclear woman did it. Nuclear woman? Wait a minute, Jack, how do you know it was her? I mean, she left her calling car on his face, a huge lightning bolt through the middle of his face. The medical examiner had to sew the face back together again. Yikes. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find her. How? We don't even know where she is. There's no we. This time it'll be. I'm gonna go alone on this one. But Jack, you can't go at this alone. She's gonna kill you. Remember what Nuclear Man did to Superman back in 1987? She's most likely the same thing, except ten times worse. She'll stop at nothing to turn your insides out. I appreciate your concern, but I have to do this by myself. Jack! Jack! No! Jack! Yeah, I heard about what happened to the Metropolis with the mayor. <sighs> Nuclear woman? In Lakeland? Okay, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get right on it. I'll get, I'll, I'll check out the story. Okay, thanks, Chief. <sighs> I had a feeling that Nuclear Woman was going to come here and go after Supergirl. Now it's my job to try and stop her from doing harm.
you doing here? What do you think you're gonna do? What do you want with me, you murderous fiend? Oh. oh. Supergirl. What, what's Supergirl doing here? What am I doing here? What the hell are you gonna do to us? feeling about this. I've got to get down there and find her. There's no time to waste.
So this is what your plan is, getting me drunk for your own private amusement. So I wouldn't be able to stop you from doing more destruction and chaos. And all you can do is just sit there and not say anything. <laughs> well, I fully recovered from what you gave me and I'm going to kick your ass if it's the last thing I do.
gone back to Arcade. Probably looking for photos or something to show who we really are. You're right. We better stop her. Let's go. Go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, tell you it's not polite to break into people's houses? Ugh. Especially a house owned by super heroines. <laughs> you think she's learned her lesson? Nah, I think it's time to smash her in the face. Agreed. For our sake, too. Agreed. I can't imagine what would have happened if she would have exposed our identities to the world. Wouldn't have been good. Wouldn't have been good. Well, I guess we better call the chief. What are you gonna say to him? I'll think of something. Hello? Chief? Jack Kent speaking. Yeah, I know you're busy, Chief. But this is pretty important. <laughs> it has to do with the death of a nuclear weapon. 